Hi Aries, this is your February 14th through February 20th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week we have the hangman clarified by the four of wands we have the eight of swords clarified by the queen of wands we have the two of wands we also have the two of pentacles clarified by the high priestess and the sun and we have the six of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a uh, fire sign and other areas the or sagittarius but um you will know whom you're dealing with because uh, either you are putting this person on hold or they are putting you on hold so there is barely any movement here in the spread except for the six of swords on the bottom of the deck so I think by the end of this week you will have the answer um, so what's at stake here is a relationship the first card that came out is the hangman and it's clarified by the four of wands the hangman is a situation that's not moving anywhere uh, this is somebody who is putting you on hold or probably you are putting this person on hold and what's at stake is the four of wands. The four of wands is a, a relationship card or marriage card. So this whole spread is about someone here trying to make a decision about this connection, about this relationship. So it's going to be like, uh, are we moving forward or not? Are you in or are you out? Are we moving in together or not? Uh, so what's going on here? So someone here is trying to make a decision about this relationship or about this connection. If this connection should become official, you know, or exclusive, or something along those lines. Um, the next card that came out is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is most likely you, Aries, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Eight of Swords is somebody who is stuck, somebody who is trapped in their own thoughts, and they're trying to figure it out. So I would just have to assume that is you who is trying to make this decision here. However, it's still possible that uh, this is just you sitting there in the limbo because you don't know what's going to happen next. And it's not the best feeling to experience, right? So the next card that came out is the Teal Wands. This is a card of somebody who is trying to make a decision, right? This person is um, trying to decide between uh, either moving forward with this relationship or leave everything as is but I'm afraid it's going to be impossible to leave everything as is because it's possible that one of you just basically gave the other person the ultimatum in the way that we need to decide I'm, I'm not getting any younger <laughs> you know somebody something among those lines in the, in the uh, potential outcome we have the two of pentacles clarified by the high priestess and the sun so the Teal of Pentacles is again about somebody making a decision. It's very similar to the Teal of Wands energy. And the, the High Priestess in this spread I think is about the person making this decision using their intuition. So they will just have to go within and um, see what their gut is telling them. And uh, the last card that came out is the Sun. The Sun is um, usually all about being very very happy it's uh, the happiest card in the deck but in this spread I think the Sun is clarity so somebody who is uh, making this decision they will have clarity by the end of this week hopefully earlier than by the end of this week and the six of swords on the bottom of the deck this is a very positive card this card is always about moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters if uh, someone was going through a rough patch in their life, then that rough patch will be over. So, yeah, there will be movement by the end of this week. A very slow movement, right? But at least there will be clarity about what's going to happen next. Most likely, the outcome or the decision will be to give this relationship a chance. Or if the two of you are thinking about moving in together, then you will give that a chance. Um... If you're thinking about making this relationship or making this connection exclusive, then you'll give that a chance. So whatever is at stake here, and like I said, the relationship itself is at stake here, there will be a slow movement towards giving it a shot. Okay? Um, 
I'm not going to do an extended for you because uh, I think it's going to be up to the person making this decision. We only have uh, three major arcana cards and they're all not about moving. They're all about getting clarity. They're all about uh, just sitting in that energy and making a decision. So I think the universe wants you to make this decision on your own, right? But uh, there will be a decision reached by the end of this week and I hope <laughs> you will make the right decision for yourself and uh, it will benefit you in the long run. Aries, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Two of Cups, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I can interpret this spread a couple of different ways. Either you or your significant other, your boyfriend or girlfriend, could get a new job offer, and uh, you, the two of you will just have to um, make a decision about it, think about it. Perhaps... Um, this new job will bring some um, innovation into your life or changes such as uh, perhaps you or them will have to start their job earlier or later or it will require a lot of travel or it will require something that would just alter your lifestyle, alter your schedules, right? So you'll just have to think it through. Um, but it looks good. I don't see any denials or rejection cards here. I do see a new beginning with the Ace of Swords. Um, so most likely the two of you will make a decision to go ahead with it. For others of you, if uh, your love life with your significant other has been kind of boring or stale, this week there will be a jolt, a spark. Uh, it almost feels like the two of you will come up with um, some kind of a project for the for both of you to work on or both of you will take a class a cooking class or <laughs> whatever class you can take together right to just spice things up or just to um, refresh your relationship in some way and uh, with the eight of pentacles this is the two of you getting busy working on it right and uh, the four of swords on the bottom of the deck I think this represents uh, that um, energy of your relationship becoming kind of boring but with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, I think this is that jolt. Something new, something exciting, something passionate uh, that the two of you will be starting this week. So uh, the Two of Cups is a great card to have. Um, yeah, it's, it, that means that the two of you are still on the same page. There's still a lot of love. There's still a lot of emotions for each other. And uh, you're just uh, getting creative and uh, having lots of fun together. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Aries this week. Keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago or a couple of years ago. Another thing to keep in mind is that we're still in Mercury retrograde so you may have more than one X resurface during this time. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Five of Cups clarified by the Chariot and we have the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, uh, Cancer in particular but it could be pretty much anybody. Um, so yeah, there is a very strong water sign presence. There is a lot of cups on the table. Or this is just all about emotions here. So the first card I came out is the Knight of Cups. It could be that water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or like I said, this is all about emotions. This person really uh, still has a lot of love for you. The Knight of Cups usually represents somebody who's got genuine and authentic emotions. The next card I came out is the Three of Cups. Um, the Three of Cups is all about a union, or in your case, in this case, this is about the reunion. Um, however, however, we have the Five of Cups that came out last, and we also have the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So the Five of Pentacles is all about somebody feeling left out in the cold, and the Five of Cups is somebody who is um, thinking about the past, regrets the past, grieves the past, um, is in love with the past so I think this is going to be up to you Aries yeah and uh, this week is going to be up to you in many many different ways um, since the five of cups came out last and we also have the five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck chances are you will be um, sending this person back to the past where they belong 
and uh, the chariot clarifying the five of cups is either a cancer you're dealing with or this is you moving on you're moving uh, forward without this person right it's possible that few of you will try to um, see what happens if the two of you were to get back together basically give the you will give this person another chance but like I said since the five of cups came out last most of you will probably tell this person you know I have already moved on and uh, I don't want to go back I don't want to live through that crap ever again so yeah there you go Aries let's talk about your work your business and your finances Aries this week we have the page of wands we have the two of wands we have the two of swords clarified by the knight of pentacles and we also have the eight of cups on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an earth sign Taurus Virgo or Capricorn so yet another decision for you Aries to make this week um, you will have a new offer on the table a very attractive um, offer a very serious offer probably um, paying more than your current job does or if you are unemployed right now um, it'll be something that you could definitely use right so I'm gonna jump to the Knight of Pentacles right there clarifying the two of swords the Knight of Pentacles is that offer it could be an earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn coming towards you with an offer but I feel this is the offer itself the Knight of Pentacles usually represents a very serious, a very uh, noticeable chunk of change. <laughs> and uh, it'll make you think. It'll make you think really hard. So the page of ones, the first card that came out, it's the uh, offer itself. It's the email or phone call or a fax, <laughs> right? So then we have the two of ones and the two of swords. Those two cards are talking about the same thing. This is you making a decision. This is you... Uh, sitting there at the crossroads um, should you stay at your current job if you're currently employed or should you leave right and that's what I think we see in the eight of cups on the bottom of the deck the eight of cups is a card of somebody who is leaving right but um, you are not a hundred percent sure whether you should do it or not we do not have any major arcana cards on the table so again it's going to be 100 percent up to you so if I were you, I would, do, I would do a research on the new company and perhaps ask them for more money, ask them for a sign-up bonus, something among those lines. And uh, for example, if their benefits are better than your existing job, then go ahead and make the switch. Jump. Okay, but um, do your homework first. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Aries, this week. We have the Five of Swords, we have the King of Wands, we have the Ten of uh, Swords, and we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, Fire Sign, another Aries, the Earth Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with an Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So most likely the King of Wands in the spread is you, Aries. Uh, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, you are probably dealing with this Queen of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, again, male or female, doesn't matter. If it's not an earth sign, then this person has to do with uh, finances. Whatever they do, they're good at in terms of financial services. What you're not expecting is um, you to get into a fight with this person. And uh, as a result of that, uh, your relationship or your connection is going to come to an end. So like I said, this person could be, it doesn't have to be somebody whom uh, you are in love, involved with in terms of love. It could be a friend, a family member, it could be a business partner, it could be somebody you work with, or it could be a representative from a financial institution, right? So whoever this person is, you're severing ties with them because uh, you will have some major, major differences. The Five of Swords, the first card that came out, this is a card of a fight. This is a card of somebody who just said, you know what, screw it, I'm out of here. And uh, the Ten of Swords next to the deck, this is a card of an ending. So yeah, there you go. It doesn't have to be between you and uh, this person. Um, I've seen uh, the uh, unexpected spreads being only uh, indirected, indirectly related to you. So it could be your friends who are severing ties. It could be 
somebody else not you but most likely this is you just keep in mind it doesn't have to be you 100 percent all right theory so that's what i got for you for this week um don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel and other than that have an amazing week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period i hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other thank you for watching sharing and subscribing